Hey guys, welcome to the second part of file upload with Ajax. In this part, we will going to write the PHP script for a PHP backend script for uploading our files to the server. Okay. First, we will start off with creating the PHP tag in our upload.php file. We'll give a header. Header. Header will be con con content type. This uh, content type should be applic a double p. Uh, I see it. I see. Um, mm, like JSON because we will show the show the success and error message in the JSON format. That's why we will be using a header type application for like JSON JSON that because by this our JavaScript will be able to understand that the that it is not a PHP file, it is a JSON file. In simple words we can say that. Okay. Now we will use a statement if is set if is set dollar and this what super global files files dot files uh, it's file okay dollar dot file is recited and 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 not empty not empty dollar and this what files so then print r dollar under slot files pre we will use pre tags to show the array prettier that we will be able to understand okay now we will refresh our page we will select on file we will go submit that okay we can see that we have get a array which name name of the file type of the file temporary location of the file errors of the file and the size of the file okay we are we v we can get it oh i forget it one thing in the index.html page in the type we have to add one attribute more multiple HTML file attribute you uh, multiple attribute this allow us to select m more than one files and we will add one more attribute required this will be stop our form to submit if the form is if the form is not filled okay we will go back reload the page if we try to fill try to submit it empty uh, try to submit empty form it will show us a message message please please select a file we can select now multiple files i'll select two um, i'll select three files okay three files and click submit button this will uh, show us an array a multi-dimensional array to us okay now we'll go um, i will get some space for myself and I will change my theme. I will choose plastic. Okay, now it's looking fine. <laughs> I will code next thing. I'll we'll create a for loop as we are uploading multiple file. We'll create a for loop and to get every file from the array file name name as key dollar name and if we echo the name we can sh see what we are getting well, name mm. okay dollar name we refresh we can get the file it's the first file this is the okay this is the second file and this is the third file <laughs> Okay, we have got dust. We'll create one name. We'll create one variable temp, and we will keep our file temp in it. File temp name and the slot name. Okay, it's name and name name, and the key variable which we are is the the key is the index of our array. Okay. 
okay we will we have got it and I will create a function above here because we will we are uh, I will create two arrays create three arrays first array is allowed allowed array allowed array we are allowing only three types of file jpg gif and png we'll create two empty array more success array it's success array. this is a shorthand of creating an array and we will shorthand of creating an array is this box and we create a error array okay now it's fine and we'll code a function above mm, we code a function name function indent it indent it and I will name it get ext extension it will get it will take one parameter name 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 and it will create an array array is equal to as explode explode we will use the explode ex we will use explode function to get the name of the the uh, sorry my mistake name not this the extension of the file we will explode it from a dot as we know extension is the format of extension is first the file name then a dot then the extension we want this extension for this we will creating a function and we will uh, we will explode it from that dot and name name okay we'll get another variable extension is equal to this extension is equal to we'll use a str to lower function because we are here only giving lowercase we are only allowing lowercase uh, extension that's why we will convert the section to extension to lowercase and we will use the end function end function give the last array last content of an array and we will give the array file okay and we will return return dot extension every time every time we will give co we'll create a variable extension here and we will call our function which we have created above extension sorry guys and what I'm typing extension extension we give the name of the file which is this and uh, echo echo that extension See, so we can get what we are trying okay we have got the extension first extension is tx txt second is jpeg third is png okay now we have got the extension now we will allow the limit we will limitation the uploads the files upload we will use a if a statement and use the in array function in array function in array function then the middle will be the extension which we want to check in an array extension is the file which is uploaded currently and hashtag hashtag is the array which we have created above this is the allowed array this will check if extension is present in array and if it is equal equal to two triple equal to two two then we will allow the file to get uploaded else else we will we will take the error array error array and put it in a message put a message here error name name of the file will be name of the file will be name name will be dollar name and we will give a message why the file has been failed and the message will be file message uh, as we are typing a string we have to use single quotes or double quotes file type not loud okay this done some more space for me 
file type not allowed now we will check if the file is less than 1 MB or not 1 MB, 2 MB, 1 MB not 2 MB for this I will go to Google Google 1 MB is the best way I do that because I hate learning the bytes and megabytes how much it is 2 MB in bits 2 MB in bits is 2097154 ok we will check if the, s if the size is smaller than or equal to that if dollar size for this size we will make one, uh, one more variable dollar size is equal to dollar under slot files dot file dot temp mm, sorry dot temp name no, it's, it's size dollar key key is index okay if if dollar size is smaller than or equal to 2900 then allow the file to be uploaded else call the show a message to the error div error array error array we will use the array function array name name of the file name the name of the file will be dollar name and si uh, message will be file size more than 2 MB okay okay our script is almost ready now we will upload the file if for this we use a java inbuilt php function move uploaded file and file name will be $tmp temp and destination will be uh, okay, uh, we'll create a f name for the file name. Create a file name variable name, and we will do md5 md5 to the name of the file, and we will append it. Append it with time function, and we will append it with the extension. The extension get a dynamic name for our file B we are doing that because I don't want that a user sh user get an error in uploading a file which has a same name which has been uploaded earlier dollar file uh, we will upload it so uh, we will fill the uploads to the upload folders uploads folder uploads U P L O A D uploads slash dot dollar file name if it this function is equal 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 triple equal to true 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 then we will sh put a message to the success success array success um, success array is equal to array 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 name name of the file will be will be dollar name and of mm, destination path will be a path path will be uploads slash dot dollar file name I'm tired here fine name and if it's not uploaded we will show error and put that error in the error div is equal to array in dollar name name equal to dollar and message file upload failed okay 
No, it's fine. Now we will call another function. Now we'll check that our files are uploading or not. Now we'll so we will check by printing the two arrays print print recursive dollar and dollar error array e error array and print recursive print to pre pre I will copy and do a paste because I am lazy. Okay, let's. Okay, we will go here. We will select two files, which is an invalid file because it's have a txt extension, and we have a valid file which has a jpeg J J J J extension. Okay, we'll hit the submit button. It show us the message error error daily blog dot txt file type not allowed that was we are talking about and we can check that out that our file has been uploaded or not by going to the uploads folder and we can see that file has been uploaded we can see it here the file has been uploaded okay that's good that's working awesome now we will check the success a success array one more one time more we'll select the same files uh, same name submit it we can see the success error array it shows the path and she shows the name and we can sh say that both the files has been uploaded but with different name that's why we are I have created this file name variable because it's allow you to upload one file multiple time with different names file is same but the name is different okay that's good now we will as we are sending the response as we are be triggering this by javascript we will send the response as json for this i will use a function name json and the slot encode encode for this we will use an array inside a array array we will use an array and we will use a s uh, I will give some space because that's why you can see it easily we will do array success success is equal to success is equal to dollar success array and error error is equal to dollar error array okay we will store that in a variable dollar json variable json is equal to json encode and we will now echo that out dollar json okay okay now we refresh it now we'll select some more files i will go to my wallpapers and um, my wallpapers and i will select two files which have size more than 2 MB and four files which are not have size more than 2 MB and a one file which is not allowed ok now we will hit upload button we'll submit it ok you got a horrible string which is not readable uh, for this I do one thing I copy that out and go to a website name JSON Lint. JSON Lint is a JSON validator. Copy it out and check it. Our JSON is valid or not? Okay, our JSON is valid. We can see that we have a success array which shows us the success files: first file, second file, third file, four files, and we have three files. As I will show, we are uploading two files more than one two MB and a file which is not allowed. Our script is working 100% fine. In the next video, we will be keeping our d hands dirty with the JavaScript and Ajax functionality to make this work look like 21st century. Bye, guys. See you next in, in the.